From fairy tale ceremonies to extravagant celebrations, royal weddings have always captivated the world for centuries with their grand celebration, which not only symbolizes love and tradition, but also the merger of noble families. However, even in the present world, there are several notable royal weddings which have drawn global attention and remind us of the grandeur of these affairs. But do you know which are these royal weddings? Maybe not. In today's video, we'll bring you the list of 12 most recent royal weddings, so without further ado, let's start. At number 12, we have the union of the Prince of Wales William of the United Kingdom and the elegant Catherine Kate Middleton. Prince William Arthur Philip Lewis is the eldest son of King Charles III and the late Princess Diana, who was next in line to the British throne. But his bride, Catherine Middleton, was born in 1982 in Berkshire, England, in a non-royal British family. The journey of their love began in 2001 during their university days when they were friends, but eventually they fell in love with each other. And after dating for almost a decade, a splendid royal wedding took place April 29, 2011 at the breathtaking Westminster Abbey in London. For the occasion, this centuries old abbey was transformed into a mesmerizing wonderland with beautiful flowers with a dazzling display of elegant traditions. This splendid wedding was watched by millions on their television and it was attended by then 1900 VIP guests from all around the world. Despite all the grandeur, all eyes stayed on the bride and groom. Princess Kate, as she's became known after the wedding, was looking beautiful in her stunning white gown, and Prince William looked every bit as dashing as a prince in his scarlet military uniform. With pride and love shining in their eyes, the couple exchanged their vows, sailing their commitment to each other in front of a captivated audience. Next, we have the wedding of Prince Albert II and the graceful Charlene Whitstock. Prince Albert II is the reigning monarch of the tiny yet important Principality of Monaco. He assumed the throne in 2005 after the death of his father. On the contrary, his wife Charlene Whitstock comes from a common South African family who was a former Olympic swimmer with multiple medals to her name. Charlene and Prince Albert's path intertwined during a swimming competition in Monaco, where their unexpected meeting laid the foundation for a blossoming romance. On July 1, 2011, in Monaco, as the nation witnessed this beautiful union of Prince Albert II and Charlene Whitstock, they exchanged vows and started a new chapter as partners in life and royalty. The wedding festivities took place in the stunning Prince's Palace. This is a historic monument which was adorned with various beautiful floral arrangements for the occasion. But for many, the star of the event was Charlene, who walked down the aisle in a breathtaking bridal gown. This wedding was attended by different guests from around the world, but even after the wedding, the party continued for several more days in the nation, and according to some estimates, the entire wedding cost more than $100 million. At number 10, we have the grand marriage between Prince Guillaume, hereditary Grand Duke of Luxembourg, and Countess Stephanie de Lannoy. Prince Guillaume was born in 1981 as a member of the Luxembourg royal family and the eldest son of Grand Duke Henry and Grand Duchess Maria Theresa. Countess Stephanie de Lannoy had a pretty normal life until she met the prince. This happened in 2009 in Germany when the prince and Stephanie were attending a party. They were introduced by mutual friends quickly. They formed a connection which over time blossomed into a beautiful understanding relationship. However, after dating for more than three years, the couple got engaged in 2012. Later that year, with the permission of the Grand Duke Henry and Grand Duchess Maria, the couple decided to get married on October 20th, 2012. The ceremony was held at the Notre Dame Cathedral in Luxembourg City. For the wedding, it was decorated with elegant floral arrangements and decorations, creating a regal and romantic ambiance. This wedding was attended by a large number of people, including various members of the European royalty, heads of state, and other dignitaries like Prince Albert II of Monaco and Prince Charles. And standing among the well-wishers, the couple exchanged their vows and marked their lifelong commitment toward each other to become husband and wife. Next, we have the wedding of Prince Carl Philip, Duke of Varmland, and Sophia Helkvist. Prince Carl Philip is the second child and the only son of King Carl XVI, Gustav of Sweden, who is in line to the Swedish throne, whereas his bride, Sophia Helkvist, had a completely different background. She was a well-known model and reality star in Sweden before meeting the prince, and in 2009, they met each other through a mutual friend, and from that point in their life, their relationship blossomed into something magical. After dating for five long years, Prince Carl Philip and Sophia announced their engagement in June 2014, and after a year, that's on June 13, 2015, the wedding bells rang. As the Royal Chapel at the majestic Royal Palace in Stockholm became the venue for the splendid ceremony, the chapel and its surroundings were grandly decorated, making it a truly enchanting affair. As for the bride, Princess Sophia looked stunning in her wedding dress. 
her groom, Prince Carl Philip, appeared dashing in a three-piece suit with a tie, exuding charm and elegance. The couple's love and happiness were evident in every moment of the ceremony, and this marvelous wedding was attended by various esteemed guests, including members of various European royal families, along with dignitaries from around the world. Due to the grandeur of the ceremony and its fairy-like tale love story, it got huge loads of media attention around the world. At number eight, we have the marriage for which a princess had to give up her title. This is the wedding of Princess Ayako of Takamoto of Ki Moria. Ayako Moria was born into a Japanese royal family in 1990 as the third daughter of Emperor Norihito and Hisako Totori, whereas Ki Moria is a businessman who comes from a non-royal Japanese family. The couple met each other in 2017 through their parents, who were friends. But with time, this friendship turned into a romantic relationship, and after dating for about a year, they got engaged on August 28th, and two months later, October 29th, 2018, the couple tied the knot in a private wedding ceremony held at the Meiji Shrine in Tokyo, Japan. And for the special day, the shrine was adorned with beautiful flower arrangements, including traditional Japanese flowers like cherry blossoms and chrysanthemums. Even the decorations and arrangements of the wedding followed traditional Japanese customs, incorporating elements such as sacred rituals, ceremonial dress, and symbolic offerings. This sophisticated wedding was attended by a long list of family members and friends from both sides, which got large-scale media attention in the nation. But after the marriage, Princess Ayako had to give up her title because of the Japanese imperial household law, which strips female members of their royal status when she marries a commoner. Next, we have the wedding between Princess Eugenie of New York and Jack Brooksbank. Eugenia Victoria Helena is the daughter of Prince Andrew, Duke of York, and is currently 11th in the line of succession to the British throne. However, this 33-year-old duchess first met her future husband, Jack Brooksbank, an English businessman in 2010 when she was skiing in Switzerland. And with their first meeting, they found an instant connection which ignited a love story. After this, the couple dated for more than eight years and on January 2018, announced their engagement. And then just nine months later, in October 2018, they exchanged their heartfelt vows, saying I do, and became husband and wife. The sacred ceremony took place at the iconic St. George Chapel for the wedding. The interior of the chapel was decorated in a mesmerizing floral scheme, with white roses and hydrangeas. And when Princess Eugene made her way down the aisle, she was appreciated for her breathtaking gown and her radiant smile, whereas the groom, Jack Brooksbank, looked equally dashing and sophisticated in his black suit. This royal wedding was attended by close friends and the entire British family, including the late Queen Elizabeth II. However, the wedding was not as big an affair as other British royals, yet this royal wedding received global media attention. At number six, we have another marriage of the British royal family, and it's between Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex, and Meghan Markle. Prince Harry is the younger son of King Charles and the late Princess Diana who grew up in the lap of royalty. In contrast, Meghan Markle had a rather ordinary life until she met Prince Harry. Born in 1981, she is an American actress and philanthropist. However, these two attractive individuals met in 2016 when they were set up on a blind date by a mutual friend and they instantly connected. But despite their geopolitical distance, the connection grew stronger over time. After dating for more than a year, the couple got engaged in 2017. And with the approval of the late Queen Elizabeth II and others of the royal family, the couple decided to tie the knot May 19th, 2018. The royal wedding took place at St. George's Chapel of Windsor Castle in England, where they marked their commitment toward each other and became husband and wife. Coming to the decorations, the chapel was beautiful with elegant floral arrangements, including white garden roses, peonies, and foxgloves, creating a regal and romantic ambiance. But for any markets, elegant white gowns and groom's formal uniform, the British Army stole the show. This wedding was attended by 600 people, including VIPs and royals from around the world and it was also witnessed by millions as it was broadcast live on TV. Next, we have the wedding of King Maha Virlongkorn of Thailand and Queen Suthita of Tidjai. King Maha Virlongkorn, also known as King Rama X, is the current monarch of Thailand. He ascended the throne December 1, 2016, after the passing of his father, King Buhumapal Adul Yadij. Queen Suthidia, on the other hand, was born into a common Thai family, and later in her life she did various jobs like a flight attendant for Thai Airways in 2013, at this time, when she met her future husband. A few months later she got engaged in a romantic relationship, but as a couple they maintained a relatively low public profile. However, the couple got engaged in early 2019 and announced their wedding, which was about to take place in May 2019. 
whereas Amform's Southend Residence Hall with Ducet Palace in Bangkok was selected for this grand wedding. After much waiting, finally the wedding day came, and for which the place was elaborately decorated keeping Thai culture and customs in mind. Under the shed of the historic palace, the couple tied the knot to become husband and wife. The ceremony was mostly a private affair, attended only by close family members and select high-ranking officials. Though the wedding was mostly a private affair, yet it did get the attention of the media and people of the nation, and it remained a matter of discussion for several more days. Next, we have a royal wedding of, of Prince Philippos of Greece and Denmark, marrying Nina Fowler. Prince Philippos of Greece and Denmark is a member of the Greek and Danish royal family. He was born in 1986 as the fifth and the youngest child of King Constantine II of Greece. Nita Flor, on the other hand, is an accomplished businesswoman who comes from a successful business background. The love story of these successful individuals began in 2018. She met the prince in Wales during a private party, and they eventually found themselves deeply in love with each other. And later that same year, they appeared together at the wedding of Prince Eugene of York and Jack Brooksbank. However, after dating a significant period, Prince Philippos and Nina decided to take their relationship to the next level. Their wedding took place December 2020 in an intimate ceremony at a Swiss ski resort in St. Moritz, where they tied the knot officially. However, due to the pandemic, only a small group of family members and friends attended the wedding. But despite the limited guest list, the couple and the family were overjoyed by the royal ceremony as Nina posted a heartwarming photo of themselves against the snowy backdrop, announcing they were just married. At number three, we have a royal wedding between Princess Beatrice of York marrying Edordo Mapley Mosey. Princess Beatrice Elizabeth Mary is the elder daughter of Prince Andrew, Duke of York, and currently she's ninth in line to the British throne. On the other hand, her husband, Edordo Mapley Mosey, comes from a non-royal Italian family who is also a business tycoon. But the bride and groom have known each other and have been friends since their childhood, as their families have been close friends for decades. But it was in the autumn of 2018 when the couple began dating. Two years after that, on July 17, 2020, a ceremony was held at the Royal Chapel of All Saints in Windsor, Great Park, where they said I do and became husband and wife. But this royal marriage was taking place during the pandemic and for this reason, the wedding plans had to be adjusted and scaled down where the guest list was limited to only close family members. Though it was not a grand wedding, yet the wedding was described as exquisite as everything was decorated with floral arrangements creating a beautiful and romantic atmosphere. But above all, Princess Beatrice stole the show with her white vintage gown which was borrowed from her grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II, and modified to suit the princess. For our next royal wedding, we move on from the UK to Jordan, and this is the wedding of Princess Ayman bint Abdallah of Jordan and Jamil Alexander Thermiotis. Princess Ayman bint Abdallah of Jordan is the second child of King Abdallah II bin Al Hussein of Jordan, whereas her husband, Jamil Alexander Thermiotis, is a successful financier in the USA who comes from a prominent Greek family. According to some reports, the couple had been in a relationship for years, and on the 5th of July, the previous year, the couple got engaged with the permission of the Jordanian royal family, and on the 12th of March 2023, they became a husband and wife in the royal ceremony, and this ceremony was held at the prestigious Beit al Erdan Palace, which is the residence of the king and the father of the bride. Coming to the star of the day, the princess, well, Princess Ayman looks stunning in her white wedding dress, which featured a full skirt, sheer lace panel, and lace sleeves. She also wore a diamond tiara, which was previously owned by her grandmother. On the other hand, Jamil wore a three-piece suit with a tie. Their ceremony was attended by Jordan King Abdallah II and Queen Rania al-Abdullah along with various Arab delegates. However, keeping the citizens of Jordan in mind, this grand affair was even broadcast on TV and on the internet where millions watched this union. At number one, we have another wedding from Jordan. This is the wedding between the Crown Prince of Jordan, Al Hussein bin Abdullah, and Rajwa al Saif. Al Hussein bin Abdullah is the eldest son of King Abdullah II and the heir apparent to the Jordanian throne. His wife, Rajwa al Saif, on the other hand, comes from Rydia, Saudi Arabia, and is the youngest daughter of Saudi businessman Khalid al Saif and Azam al Sudari. The couple's paths crossed in 2006 during their time in college, when Rajwa was introduced to the Crown Prince through a friend. From that point, their relationship grew and blossomed. However, it was June 1, 2023, when the couple got married according to the culture and customs of the royal house. This grand wedding was attended by more than 1,700 attendees, including VIPs and members of different royal families. 
This wedding took place at the Grand Sauron Palace, and for this special occasion, the beauty of the palace was raised with its breathtaking floral decorations. But all eyes were on the beautiful people. The bride looked stunning in an asymmetrical neckline dress. Apart from this, she also wore the tiara that secured her elaborate veil, whereas the crown prince Hussein wore his official uniform. For its sheer grandeur, it got huge media attention after the marriage. Rajwa Al Saif was also who was a commoner, got the style and title of Her Royal Highness Princess Rajwa Al Hussein. Thanks for watching the video. Comment down below your favorite part and let us know. Also, press the subscribe button and bell icon for regular updates.